I'm going in circles at this Today is December 1st, 2004. This is Dr. Jared Rowley speaking. Oh! And my patient's name is Jake Smith. I forgot I was in the game. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> All sessions with Mr. Smith from this point forward will be recorded for use in the Discovery <clears throat> Island case. Now, Jake, before we get started, I'm going to briefly explain the circumstances behind your admittance here on tape for the sake of documentation. Is that okay? Uh, okay. Jake Smith was declared missing in 2003 during the Discovery Island incident. A year later, on July 23, 2004, he was found and taken into custody after displaying signs of delusions and paranoia. Currently, he's a suspect in the disappearance of Greg McLaughlin, Lisa Birch, and Henry Miller. Now, Jake, can you tell me anything you recall from your time on Discovery Island? We spoke about it a little during what was the that about? session, but I've been asked to get a statement on tape. Maybe you'd like to start from the beginning and work your way from there? About your time as an intern? No? That's... that's all right, Jake. We can do that again whenever you're comfortable. Maybe... maybe you'd like to talk about what exactly caused you to vanish like that, or where you were when you were missing. What is a hallucination? Blur, but maybe trying to talk about it will help you remember. Maybe. Okay. That's... that's also fine. What about the cabin? Can you tell me about the cabin, Jake? You told me that nothing happened there during our last session, but considering what you did to the place... Look, this case has stumped the authorities, Disney, even the agency you worked for. There's just dead end after dead end, and your friends' families have no answers. We know something happened in that cabin. If you don't want to talk about it right now, that's okay too. But please, I think getting it off your chest at some point would really benefit you. Whoa. The sooner they get answers, the sooner we can It just occurred to me that the little thing in the tape is like the planet or don't something. You put all this behind you, Jake. You spent a year on that island. What's that book say? You lost a year if I can see a past island, hallucinations. Three friends. Do you really want it to take even more? I don't know what that says or what that is. Thank you, Jake. Now please, tell me about the cabin. <gasps> Yo! <laughs> what an opening cutscene. What an opening cutscene, dude. Hello everyone, it is me, Jerry Gaming here, and welcome... <laughs> ...to... How do I actually say the name of the thing? Obligatus Casa. I think that's how you say... That's probably not how you say the name, but I'm gonna say it like that. Obligatus Casa. I've been waiting for this game for a long time. This is probably one of my, surprisingly, most awaited FNAF fan games ever. I've had a few fan games that I've always waited that I was genuinely really excited for, but this one was one of the few exceptions where I was like, even at the new age of 20, I really, really want to play this game. So, without further ado, Team Radiance, please, show me what you did to this game. Really excited. There's a lot of things I'm looking forward to, and I hope a majority of them retain the same amount of feelings that I loved about the first game. Oh no. Attic? Oh no, what are we doing? What am I doing up here? <gasps> I'm actually terrified. What am I doing? What's notepad? Your friends are dead. I'm here to help you. The music on the cameras fools him. Distract sounds are... Or distant sounds are less effective than close sounds. Use that to your advantage. Check the notepad frequently. Oh. Gosh, what am I looking for? Am I in this room right here? Okay. Is that him? <gasps> oh, hey, um, uh, go back, go back here. 
Oh, hoo -hoo. I can see that I only have a very limited use of this. And I'm assuming that too is also limited as well. It's surprising how we don't really get a phone call or anything. We just got a... Oh, whatever that is. What was that about? Anyone up here? Hello? Hello? I hope not. Ooh. Just keep him, just keep him at bay. Take more pictures of him. Make him feel a little camera shy, you know? We don't want him feeling like he's uh, allowed to roam this house. It's my house after all. T totally, totally. What's this? What the heck is the outside area or something? Oh shoot. I just realized, hold on. I gotta drive him somewhere further. Like here. There we go, there we go. Ooh, get rid of that, I forgot. I wanna get rid of that. I don't know what that's about, but... I'm assuming something bad happens if I let this thing, uh... You know. Oh, wait, that's so close. Oh, that still could be close. I'm glad this is the only enemy I have to worry about right now. Because, uh... One thing I'm a little bit worried about is if there's an enemy up here, because transitioning from one place to another is really slow. So, I don't know how that's going to work out. So my question is, um... Let's just say there was an enemy upstairs. How would I be able to efficiently deal with something like, you know, a lot of people coming through here and all the types of stuff? Because, um... From what I can see... Like I said, transitioning from one place to another is not that fast. So I'm a little anxious on, um... Just, uh... Transitioning from one location to another, like... Especially since I have to click on it, I can't just leave my mouse ling lingering around that area. So, that's what makes it... Uh, that's what makes me a little bit scared. I'm a little bit digging the aesthetics of the, uh... What is it? Just everything about this in general. It's a lot more, um, different. What if I take you here? Yeah, go take a Pepe. Okay, go take a little Pepe. Pretty sure you gotta use the restroom every now and then, you little silly billy. Oh, that was from him. He said, where's my boat? You know, where's your boat? Up your- Uh oh, where'd you go? Camera 2, looking a little funky, bro. What even is this place? So we do play as Jake, but... Where are we? He said something about like a cabin. That we went to, and all types of stuff. So I gotta wonder, what's that about? What is Rich Presence? What does that do? I'm assuming that changes the graphics. You have been given a second chance. Your best friend will ward uh, off one of the mice and rabbit. The dog does not. The dog does not like the light. The duck will try to trick you. Watch for the head and click. The Wait, what? What am I doing? Oh, what? What am I doing? Is there any, like...
It was a gameplay within a gameplay? What did I even die to? It was like a shadow looking Mickey. Music on the cameras. Check the notepad frequently. Did I just not pay attention to the notepad or something? Like I always said, one of my favorite things about these uh, games made by Team Radiance is the, uh, the atmosphere. It's just something about the atmospheres of these games is just like, I don't know how they do it, but it's amazing. Mmm, you want some ASMR uh, eraser on a notepad? <laughs> no? Okay. A bomb's going off! Everyone, take cover! I just realized the background has a depth of field effect when you flip up the cameras. That's really cool, actually. So something killed me around like 5 a.m. I wonder what that was about. Did I do something with the attic, or just the thing on the notepad? I wonder if there's a way I can lure him here. That'd be interesting. Hold on. I'm a little curious. Is there a way I can try that? What happens? Oh! I can! Wait, so then where does he go after that? Take a picture of you, you little snitch. Oh, goes back to camera. Okay, so that's the furthest I could take him. It's camera nine. I thought the uh, outs that was just like an extra camera and it was like disconnected from the actual game itself. Oh, <gasps> he's right. Okay. What? What was that about? That's so cool, you can actually see him outside. What the heck? I'm gonna look away from him. <gasps> look away. See, seriously, like, what was that about? What was that thing that appeared? Was that meant to be, like, an Easter egg or something? Like, what was that about? Cause, like, dang, that's that scared the bejeebers out of me. What was that thing in? Why was it there? Totally a bomb going off. Gonna keep tricking. No idea what's gonna be up here, especially since there's whatever that thing was. I think it's 6 a.m. <gasps> wow, when it hits 6 a.m. it's not even like a, a chime or something. It's just straight up like a cutscene of it being morning. That's actually kind of cool. Somebody does not have that celebratory thing, but that's kind of cool. The morning sun has driven the back into the darkness. Even though there's no word, uh, it's just darkness. You were not alone. Listen so closely to make it out of the tunnels. Turn off your lights to this hall. They're searching for you. Avoid them if possible. Use the light if they get too close. If it doesn't work, run. What? I'm gonna go east. Everything totally goes right going east, right? Right? West? What am I doing? What? What is this about? Ain't no way, brother. I don't want to talk about it. What am I doing? Where am I going? Can't really, uh... Please tell me you're not near here or something. Where am I going? Because I'm going in circles at this point. I'm going in circles at this- oh! What?! What?! Listen closely 
to make it out of the tunnels, turn your light off to listen in the halls. They are searching for you. Avoid them if possible. Okay, but what do I do? Keep doing this. Where am I supposed to go? Where do I go? Listen closely to make it out of the tunnels. Listen closely. What am I listening out for? I don't get it. What is that thing? Did I make it? What did I even do? How did I even make it out alive? Listen for the sounds in the attic. He is scared by the light. A new creature is roaming the cameras. Use the camera flash when you see it. What the heck? Oh, what a game. New character, so just something. Okay, I found it. Hello? Anyone here? Just checking to make sure no one's sneaking around my attic. Oh, wow, that thing forms really quickly. Holy cow. I don't know if that does anything, but... Hello? Hey, no one's here. Flip my cameras, find the thing. I don't know if he's here or not, but you know, just in case. Was that Daisy? Is that who that was? What sound effect am I looking for when it comes by? Troublesome game this is. I literally beat the tunnels not even knowing where to go. But it worked in my advantage. Somehow. I didn't even hear him come up here, but okay. Might have been from a sound effect that I just overlooked. Get out of my way, you little rascal. 
So I'm assuming the camera flash is just nothing on Mickey or Willy or whatever we should call him. So that's interesting. So it's only for specifically the other one. Whoops. As I accidentally use it. Hello? Just the sound effect it makes when it's like in the, what is it? Like the cameras and just, it's really terrifying. It's a bit of a gameplay loop here, so that's one thing I do appreciate. Makes it so that, uh, can it appear on the sides? It makes it so that you can get into a bit of a rhythm of what to do, which that I like. I like it when, um, there are a couple FNAF fan games that get you into a rhythm. It makes, um, what is it? You, you, just the importance of gameplay loops. What does the daisy one do if it, uh, ever escapes? Cause, uh, just like Donald Duck. So that's the sound effect I'm looking for. Noted. Noted. It's very loud, it's very obvious. Who is that nice? Are you talking about the Jared principal guy? He let out a pipe bomb earlier, so I guess that makes sense. I appreciate that she's always appearing in the one area I need her to appear in. And that is where I believe it takes Willie the furthest from me. Okay. Now my new biggest concern is the tunnels. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing in there. I literally feel like I just beat that because I just did. Oh. <sighs> See now it's 6 a.m. and then we just get transported into the tunnels. Or. I'm assuming we get transported there. Maybe we get transported somewhere else. The morning sun has driven the back into darkness. Or maybe dankness. Oh, I'm back. Why am I back? What am I even looking, listening out for? Stop! I'm just gonna run. Right here? I just ran. Okay, over here, I'm assuming. I guess I'm looking out for a chime sound effect. Is that. Whoa! What is the point of these tunnels? Alright, you know what? I think I'm just gonna try and end it off here because I've recorded for quite some time. And, uh, I've already experienced a little too many things. Like, I, I cannot believe that this is a thing. Just, like, there's a whole new, like, mini game that you have to participate in for, uh, what is it? 
just being stuck in whatever this place is. Um, so far, I actually am liking the gameplay. I'm liking it a lot. The one thing that I'm a little, um, kind of sad about is that I'm not getting a lot of, like, lore stuff. I think that's one of the things that, like, captivated me the most was that I was looking forward to, um, what they would do with the lore-ish. It didn't have to be something, like, grand or, like, mind-breaking, but, like, I think that's one of the things that makes phone calls worth listening to it gives you that one of the things that I always um held as a value for FNAF fan games is giving the players a reason why they should continue playing the game like for the Knights example like Five Nights at Freddy's 1 it was for the night phone calls and just out of curiosity to see what uh night 5 ended but you were always getting a new phone call that gave you some new piece of information and in some cases, it could just be that, which I will admit this, what this game is giving me is new enemies, which is appreciated. Always fighting against new enemies every night is appreciative. I just feel like this game is missing something as the moment. It is only night two, and I'm right now just only stuck in the tunnels, but I feel like, um, right now I just, I really like this game. I just wish there was a bit more lore stuff to it. But who knows, maybe I might get that in like night 3 or something, because, you know, it was kind of the same way with uh, Final Treasure Island, where at night 3 you just went to some dangerous location. I guess, but my thing is, is that you're already doing that, you're going into the tunnels, and I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm assuming that I'm listening out for the chimes, I still don't understand how you evade that guy. Maybe it's one of those things where it's like, there's two of them, and one of them comes after you by, you know... In the dark or in the light, I don't know. But I guess it'll be something I'll have to find out. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, give it a like, share the video, subscribe to the channel. If you guys enjoyed watching, begin scared, confused, everything. You know, subscribe. I'll see you guys whatever we do next. Take care, God bless you guys, and have a wonderful rest of your night. Don't go to cabins anymore, or at least this one right here. I'll, or maybe just don't go to one that's made by Disney. For all you know, it could have some spooky ghosts inside there. For all you know.